be as smooth as I can, but it may not be super smooth. Hey guys. All right. This is completely safe. <laughs> this is totally safe. We're professionals on a close course. Good morning. <laughs> we are sitting at the train station right now, about to hop on a train to go meet our dear friend. And while yeah. we wait, we're going to eat breakfast, which consists of water. And some clip bars. And some clip bars. <laughs> because everything here is really freaking expensive. So we bought, <laughs> we bought a, a big box, box of, of clip bars, bars before we, we were, came here. Yeah. So. <laughs> I've never ridden trains before. Up. Thanks. Bon appetit. <laughs> no freaking way. <laughs> Dude, no way. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Awesome. Welcome, uh, welcome Thank to Norway. You. Thank you. Summer snow got lost. It all started melting, but the ice is going to be picture perfect. It'll be nice oh. and slick, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it's going to look like you're driving on water. Yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we are on not on water though. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be safe, but I hope you guys have good life insurance. No, uh, I mean, well, it's okay. okay. <laughs> Take my trash truck. Oh, cool, sweet. This is my uh, African style Toyota Hiace that it's I will never okay. sell. Okay. <laughs> Trusty old. Uh, yeah. This is perfect. All right, so for anyone who doesn't recognize this super cool guy right Everybody here. Everybody knows who this is, come on. <laughs> Hello. So this is our really good friend, Frederick Osbo, which by the way, we're about to drop a massive <laughs> knowledge bomb on anyone who does know the him. The whole Drift community, you guys are all wrong. Osbo is not how you say his name. The we real name this. is Osbo. Fred, I'm, I can't even say Frederick right because I can't do the rolling of my tongue. But we've been butchering his name all along, you guys. This is mind-blowing. So, a funny thing is every time I go to Britain, they have this thing in Britain that they call an ASBO, A-S-B-O. And that is... It's like so attention deficit disorder in the U.S. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. Anti-social behavior order. That's me. That's you. That's, you. That's what we've been calling him. Like, it was anti-social behavior disorder. <laughs> so... He's also known as the Norwegian Hammer. He's also a drifting legend, more or less. And today... He has his own statue downtown He does. He has Oslo. a statue downtown. No, he has he his own statue downtown Oslo. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Norway. Let's have some fun. Guys, we're going to go ice drifting. <laughs> this and is going to be awesome. Supras. And multiple Supras. Gold Supra. Beastly drift car. With studded tires, <laughs> guys. Oh, this is going to be so freaking awesome. This is Sweden. We literally just passed into uh, Sweden from Wait. Norway and it's not a... It was just a sign. Just a sign. It's like said, you're going into a different like, state. Like, welcome to Sweden. There's no, I mean, it said it in a different language, but there's no border patrol or like gate or anything. You just, it's like just driving. There was a speed bump. There's there was a speed bump in his sign. <laughs> the only difference is the tarmac's a little more red. There are more Volvos. There's more. And, uh, you know, the reason why it's like this is because we were once one. There's been a history of Vikings and blood and, and rape and pillage. You know, there you back go. In the day. But, <laughs> pretty much. but now we're friends. So that oh. means you can pretty much travel across the border as you wish. And there's a lot of Norwegians coming in here to these border towns for shopping because oh. we screwed ourselves up in Norway by making everything super expensive while in Sweden everything's still pretty affordable. Oh. Plus, they have the best ice drifting around. What do you think? <laughs> it looks like it's melting a lot. So this is the lake we're drifting on today. It's um, been kind of warm lately, so it's it's uh, been melting. And they're assuring us that it's still very thick. And I guess we'll see if uh, the trucks and trailers make it out on there. <laughs> oh, so he's going for it. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, that does not, 
<laughs> Luckily right here it's not very deep. So you, this is I think this is supposed to be a boat ramp, but uh, we're using it as a car ramp right now. <laughs> oh, that is scary. Oh boy, that's scary. Oh. Is it? Oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Okay. You're having a much worse time than this one. Are you filming right now? Yes. Thank God. <laughs> this is called living the dream. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> this doesn't feel like real life right now. It does not. No. So they said it's about 35 centimeters deep. Which What's is a centimeter? It's about yay much. About this yeah. much? It's like a foot. I think it's about a so, give or take a foot. This is what you call steel eyes or blue eyes because it's clear. It's yeah. actually yeah. the strongest eyes you can get. So even though it's kind of trippy right now because everything's melting around us. And it looks ice, like a lake and not ice. Exactly. <laughs> that, but the ice is still good. And they say that ice this thick, mm -hmm. if it's the best quality ice, you can actually drive a tank on it. So, so our Jeep then? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so, so today is, uh, we we're definitely safe. The problem is there's a lot of water on the lake, so it's going to be a lot of water splashing everywhere. Yeah. So it'll be an interesting uh, experience drifting in this. Didn't you say earlier that this thing was like brand new two weeks ago? Yeah, so I work with a local school, Olsvidergo, and it's a tech school with a bunch of auto body students. Yeah. I've been working with them for 10 years, and every winter I smash my, my <laughs> practice super hub, and every winter they fix it again. So this <laughs> thing was brand spanking new two weeks ago. on the ice. This is gonna be so rad. For us this is pretty hardcore practice. Yeah, yeah it not. is. This ain't fun in games. This is <laughs> Yeah no no fun at all. There's no fun here. So we have a nice drifting team set up on the frozen lake. This cool guy here is running a freaking sequential <laughs> in a 200 horsepower NA Supra and this guy has pink elephants all over his Supra because his friends love him so much. Whoa! So we're just getting ready and headed out, heading out here. So we'll see what happens. Good thing we're, we're checking the eyes, but maybe we should have checked before we got here. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it seems plenty thick though. Yeah. 
slowest spin ever. <laughs> Get back in the car. Okay. water coming off the tire hits the front bumper and sprays up and over it's almost like a, a wind tunnel machine with smoke oh, yeah. you can see it hit and it's like oh you can <laughs> like they're just like non-stop that's freaking awesome <laughs> saying that a whole day of this out on the ice they'll cut all the way through the ice like they are it the studs definitely dig into it that's god it's insane so i'm voting that frederick's car will blow up first i think so yeah here why osbo finishes his uh his cool down lap what's your name my name is Turander Supremus. So, you've been friends with Osmo for... Maybe... We yeah, have been drifting together for 10 years. For a long time. Yeah. So, obviously, they've all got Supras. They're all naturally aspirated. They're all equal slash similar-ish power. So, they can do super rad tandems out here on the ice, which you guys do often. Yeah. All the time. This is like... This is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> you can roll it out with the 
the jack handle. Jack yeah. handle. I have one. That was a hard brush. Yeah, I was a... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think it's the front bumper? Do you swing yeah. around? I got I was like, video. where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Video. There. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we get a lot of stick online for beating up these museum pieces, right? So in the States, this is a classic. And it's a classic mm. everywhere. But in, in the UK, it was an influx of uh, Mark IV Supras that got imported in like the 90s and 2000s. Okay. Yeah. So I bought mine for 2,000 pounds, which is what? like 2,500 bucks. Yeah, it's like Holy nothing. crap. So can you, like, can you get an NA? Not like anymore. That. Now they're like triple, quadruple that. We feel bad about using these cars. They're so awesome at it. Yeah, no, you're literally, you're banging what? red line for yes. like five minutes, minutes yeah. straight, just like on it. Are these a W58? What, what transmissions yep. they have? They used to be, but right now we're running BMW transmissions and those two M3 transmissions. And this one has the sequential, yeah. But it's true because people are like, why the hell are you guys spending so much money on transmissions and not riding a turbo? It's the opposite yeah, of what... Yeah, you're trying to make it as reliable as reliable. possible. Yeah. With no issues, no problems. Exactly. And we don't need any more power. We're trying to make it relevant drift practice. And in drifting today, there's so much grip in pro drifting mm -hmm. that the car's struggling to drift. Mm -hmm. So, and it's the same feeling here. You got to use every bit of power to, to make the to car... To do what you need it to do. Exactly. So we're trying something new here. This is drift practice after all. And guess what? We have a concrete wall, or kind of, right here. So now we're setting up. It's basically the stupidest idea we could ever come up with. Let's see if we can crash into, into a mountain. Into, yeah, into, into this rock. giant wall. Sweet. Is it a bad idea, I think? This is just a top layer, though. But yeah. it's maybe not the best idea. Maybe not the best maybe idea. Not. This seems like a terrible idea. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> yeah, this. <laughs> I can't understand what he's saying, but I have an idea. <laughs> Got it, Kev? <laughs> you picked the wrong area to do that. He's going to push you up. <laughs> So I don't know why, but I volunteered myself to uh, climb up to the top of this rock, which is about 20 feet in the air. This is literally just a winter wonderland of awesome drifting. Like that, I can't. <sighs> this is pretty bad. <laughs> Guys, yeah, say yeah, move it over there some. We should be fine. By the vodka and the, the fuel. <laughs> Back at it. Back at it. Fueled up. On hot dog, <laughs> smack talking. speed. Oh, man. 
Ouch! <laughs> he might have lost his exhaust on one of those pass-bys a second ago. That was like the slowest spin out ever. Yeah, I he know. Saw, he was like full lock. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs>
So for everyone who was wondering why we were coming to Norway and Sweden, this is why. These guys right Woo! here, drifting in Supras on a lake. Plus tomorrow we're going to the WRC, which is the World Rally Championship. But for now, we're gonna close this video out. So you'll have to wait till next time to see the WRC. But as always, we love you guys. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! <laughs>